Greetings, Taurus. Tenacious Taurus, come on in here. Let's do your reading for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. I am Tiffany. I read intuitively. We are going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with my intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So be sure to stick around to see all the good information that Divine Spirit has for you. Before I get started with your reading, I'd like to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, let's get started. Taurus, 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 how are you? What things have happened in the past week that are exciting or maybe a little startling even? Unexpected or totally expected? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Mm. All right, let's see what we have for... The Phenomenal Taurus, Divine Spirit. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know, Divine Spirit? Shadow card. We have the lovers in the shadow position. Shadow position is the bottom of the deck, and this normally points to either hopes or fears. We will get back to the lovers. Let's see what we have here from Spirit for our lovely Taurus. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Whoa, that's a powerful pair. All right, with Six of Pentacles, this is this is pointing to your generosity, Taurus. You have been generous in more ways than one, not even just financially, but that that it seems that financial generosity has been a priority for you. Taurus, so seeing what I have here in front of me, it looks like that generosity is coming back to you tenfold because here we have the King of Wands, right? And we know that this is very passionate and fiery energy coming from the King of Wands. There is a lot of creativity surrounding you Taurus you have the authority and the power to actually create the life you want because of the generosity that you have been sharing with others especially financial generosity whether it's donating to a cause or helping out a family like you may foster a family or you um, foster a kid in college and see that they have a stipend for food each month, something along those lines. What it is you're doing, how you're being generous is coming back to you tenfold and giving you the power and the authority to continue to create the life that you desire in order for you to continue to be generous right and then on top of that you have the queen of wands which that means you are nurturing and intentional about the life that you create because you want to be able to continue to be generous to those that you meet with compassion and and pure genuine will to want better for your fellow human beings. This is what I'm getting from you, 
Taurus, but this is what I'm getting for you from Divine Spirit for you, Taurus, right? This is beautiful. I, I love this for you. Now, let's go ahead and address this shadow card at the bottom of the deck. Again, in the shadow position, it can uh, point to either hopes or fears. And I see this as a hope for you, as finding more connection, finding more partnerships, finding more balance in your life, understanding your limitations so that you don't go overboard with your generosity, but you are always allowing yourself to give from the overflow. Everything that's in your cup is for you. Everything that spills from your cup is for others. And it looks like you've been taking that very seriously, um, Taurus. So blessings on you. Let's get a little bit of a little bit more information. Divine Spirit, can we have some more information for Taurus? This is a beautiful reading of their generosity, looking to create better partnerships, continue their philanthropic efforts, no matter how big or small. You're doing a great job with it, Taurus. And, and being intentional about the life you create. So you can continue your generosity. Divine Spirit, what else do we have for Taurus for the week of February 25th through March 2nd? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Okay. Ten of Wands, Taurus. Ten of Wands. I want to caution you. Do not... Take on more than you can handle. Do not overburden yourself. Do not be hard on yourself. If you feel like you, you're you only able to donate less than you have in the past, that's fine. Donate what you can, but do not overburden yourself. This Ten of Wands is pointing to you're carrying too much it, or you're holding yourself um, hostage it feels like that's what I'm hearing you're holding yourself hostage because you can't do more you can't give at the level you want to and that's okay I need you to give yourself permission to be okay with that to let that burden go because in due time in due time Taurus you will give at a level that you've never been able to give before give yourself time be patient with yourself give yourself grace and here we, we have another two, the partnership. This is two of cups. This is dealing with, it could be romantic. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but again, I'm getting partnerships. Again, be on the lookout, be on the lookout Taurus for partnerships. This, the partnerships that can be created will bring balance to your life as well as maybe it feels like possibly even catapulting you forward into this King of Wands and Queen of Wands energy to create that life with intention, with authority, nurturing, and just being able to get to the level of giving that you want to get to. Who is around you? Who is around you, Taurus, that is showing you the that they are worthy to partner with you on a level that brings you to your next level living, right? And that will allow you to continue to curate and create the life you desire for your philanthropic uh, reasons, all right? Let's go ahead and pull one Oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for you, Taurus. Divine Spirit, one card. For our lovely Taurus, our generous Taurus, if you will, please, Divine Spirit. Mm hmm. No, unacceptable. One card, Divine Spirit. Thank you. This one. Vanishing mirror, ego sublimation. Hmm. Hmm. 
Is that why you're being so hard on yourself? Is that why you're overburdening yourself, Taurus? Is your ego getting in the way? Because when you're able to be generous for as long as you have, it does feel good and you, you can take pride in it, but not letting that pride go so far to knock you off your square and that pride has you overburdening yourself, don't allow it. Don't allow it. Hmm. Make sure your foundation of your why. Taurus, your foundation of your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you taking the route of being so generous? Make sure that foundation is rock solid. It's sincere and it's genuine and it's not for show. It's not to be seen. It's because your heart truly desires to be a generous human being to help others. Okay. Be very mindful, Taurus. One more. We're going to get a spirit animal oracle card. What spirit animal should Taurus embody for the week of February 25th through March 2nd? Divine spirit, let us know. Spirit animal oracle, what spirit animal will Taurus embody this upcoming week? Too many, too many. Single card, divine spirit, if you will. This one is sticking out and it was on the bottom. Electric eel spirit. Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Absolutely. Bring your ideas to life. That, and I feel like this is going to call for that. Where is that cooperation, Taurus? Bring your ideas to life, right? Bringing your ideas to life is going to call for that cooperation, for that collaboration, for that partnership. You are, you are going to find great use in a partnership that you had no idea was on the horizon so embody the electric ill spirit this coming week taurus bring your ideas to life let the partnership happen it's going to happen organically and it's going to happen for your benefit taurus thank you so much for tuning in i hope this resonates with you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe click on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos i have for you until next time i'll see you then bye bye